Now, as movies go, they couldn't be much more different. Barbie is the fantasy tale of life inside and outside Barbie land. Oppenheimer is a thriller based on the father of the atomic bomb. But they do have something in common. They are both blockbuster films of the summer, which cinemas are hoping will boost audiences to pre-COVID levels. To kick things off, Barbie had its premiere tonight, complete with pink carpet, not red. A premiere plastered in pink. You'd expect no less for a movie jam-packed with A-listers, bringing the iconic Barbie to life. And just 20 metres away, its competition for big screen summer success prepares for its own red carpet. Christopher Nolan's three hour long Oppenheimer is a far cry from the choreographed numbers of Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. But both movies are coming out on the same day, July 21st. Film studios try and avoid that because they compete for audiences, but stars think it shows that cinema is thriving people crave a few hours at the pictures. I mean, I don't think anything compares to a cinema experience and this movie in particular, it's just so fun with a group. It's like a giant dance party. You want to be with your friends for it. I think that this is a summer that is proving that people still want to go out and see big stories on the big screen. There's something that was so viscerally satisfying about it being extremely hot and then going into a dark, cold movie theater and being transported. And I think I wanted to create that kind of experience for viewers. Barbie and Oppenheimer, or as their joint release has now become known, Barbenheimer, come hot on the heels of other 2023 blockbusters like Mission Impossible and Indiana Jones. Get back! With the cinema closures that came with the pandemic and the subsequent surge in streaming, many wondered if cinema admissions would ever return to previous levels. Last year, movies bounced back. Avatar The Way of Water made more than £1.8 billion at the box office, while Top Gun Maverick also made more than a billion. One study found that in 2019, there were 7.9 billion cinema admissions globally, but it could take until 2027 to get close to that number once again. For independent cinema owners, a stream of Hollywood hits helps boost business. I do think that the habits are now being formed again, uh, where you have one, two, three, four, five releases back to back, it definitely creates that let's go to the cinema every week and that's what we need. So, yeah, we're feeling a lot more confident that things, that things are getting there. We're not out of the woods. We need everyone's support. But, uh, yeah, it definitely seems to be going the right way. Why? Why? Whether it's the story of the first atomic bomb you want to see or the ups and downs of Ken and Barbie, this summer's got fans flocking to the cinema once again. Rishi Dabda, News at 10.